maybe I could have protected him. I don't know. The point is Elkison is gone for good. We lost him. People took notice all around the world. They were begging for Jadson but there was nothing he could do. I will find that fucking bastard who killed him. I will find him and he will get the full four inches. Goodbye Elkison. Goodbye old friend. George you promised I could ask one question about your past before you ramble about your video game again. Did you bring it? Yes. Show me. Here it is. Wow. An original Japanese Cherizard card. Epic epic epic. Ask me what the fuck you want. I suppose you got it for Harris. Who is Harris? Your son. I've got a son? Never mind. So here is my question. Have you always been angry at video games? No fucking way I was always a pretty chill dude. You'll see at the end of this episode. What episode? Might I ask another question because I think- Eat a dick. So I lost 1 and 1 2 in Division 5. I asked you guys out there who the replacement for Alkison should be. Our first contender is... Alexander Twato. Let's see if he has a good replacement for Elkison. Since a lot of my players don't have my sexual stamina, I had to make some changes. Raphael played for that scary black man. President Lincoln was my right winger and Elton John wanted to pour some gay rain on my enemies. D-Day played for Whoopi Goldberg even though I was a little scared he might play hide the penis with Rodriguez. So this pooper was our first opponent. Fuck. 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 Black. Man. Retard. Fuck. We had ourselves a challenge guys. Carlos Educato tried to get something going but his shot was weaker than the last season of Lost. Thank god Paris Hilton proved that she has no problem handling balls. At the end we got to a good start thanks to Mario Azevedo. In honor of Elkison he started to bang his head on the pitch just like I told him to. If you ask yourself what Alexander Twato was doing in the game. This was his best moment so far. not completed really well okay he abused his pace a little and smashed it against the gay bar then my enemy didn't have any more time to play because i think his father came in with a strap on and wanted his son to suck it clean yes i am pretty sure that is what happened so michael jackson gave the order to just let it slip but alexander twato wanted his spot in the team so bad he scored while wow, he even celebrates with pace abusing nice move there twato Dead pace man. Jadson had enough of that bullshit and put a hole to it. Fucking JJ Michael Jadson. So in the end we won the game by two goals and got one step further to Division 4. Only the Division 5 title missing. But then I got that phone call which changed everything. Hello this is George the Ultimate FIFA Pro. Who the fuck are you? You know who I am George. Harry Potter? Uh, are you me? Are you stupid? Are you gay? I'm the mother of Rebel's Jason. If you don't want any more players to die, you better score three goals with Jason today and win the next two games. Do you understand me? Oh my fucking god, I swear if you take sexy center back goalkeeper Rodriguez, I'ma cut your dick off and feed it to Matthew Macona. Hey you fucking stupid Walter Frey, I sl- Ass out of my tits, dead bastard. So shit got real. I fielded my best starting 11 only Azogato needed a break so Carlinus had to step up his fucking game. Come on Jadson. I needed him more than ever. This was my enemy. La 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 Andy Carroll. That won't be a big problem I guess. Fucking bullshit. Even Jadson was nervous about losing one more friend. Thank god Alexander Twato is a pace abusing whore and yes. Let's just enjoy it. Jadson. Michael. Jadson. Jadson. Michael. Jadson. We need you Michael Jadson. Jadson tried everything to prevent another loss. He fought like a warrior. Even MC Gady stepped up his game. At least we only had to defend Andy Carroll. God damn it fuck me like a horse. It did not look too good but one of the older guys took responsibility. Thank you Philippe. Andy Carroll wanted to do it again but sexy center-back goalkeeper Rodriguez made a statement. 
They all fought but Alexander Tuato could not convert his chance. Philippe sent the ball to Tuato and Jadson missed, but a warrior never lets go. Never. He was willing to defend and lead his team. You lead the way Michael Jadson. I had a few more very sexy chances including Jadson but in the end this was the result. We survived another day. We also got the league title and got promoted. I just had to win the last game and Jadson needed to score. George are you willing to talk to me about the loss of your friend? No fuck that shit I'ma make car sounds. George you can't make car sounds. <laughs> of course he can. I was ready to win this motherfucking game. Nobody should die like this. Philippe's penis was a little soft so we got us some Sandro to cover the midfield. Also 5 star Azagato took back control on the left. I thought about giving Valdivia and his beautiful hair a shot but decided against it. I felt something big coming up for Carlos Edugato and Valdivia wasn't ready yet. It got a little bit more complex because my enemy had a good day as well so I had to look out for sexy Rodriguez a little bit. And so it began. Everybody knew what was on the line. Our black man showed no mercy from the get go. Alexander Tuato proved he is a pace abusing whore with a fucking bad cross. La 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 at least he looks funny. Jadson knew he had to mesmerize in this game. Carlos Edugato came around with a master fucking class pass and then... M. C. Gaby. So we took the lead. And we had to win it. But still Jadson had to score but he hit the fucking post. Come on Jadson, don't give up. He got us a penalty for this but at this score our best man had to shoot to secure the win. Sure Mr. 100% sexy center back goalkeeper got us further in front. We continued to play. Jadson was everywhere with pinpoint passes still missing the goal. That's when he decided he had enough. He knew it was up to him to save them all. Redeem his good old friend Elkison. He marched on and on knowing this had to happen. Come on Jadson. Come on buddy. But he just couldn't finish. He even mastered a very difficult skill. Mental Jadson powers, mental Jadson powers. I was so proud. He forced the ball to Sandro to more or less seal the win, but time was ticking. I have no fucking clue why this happened but Carlos Edugato took the chance and rewarded himself for a good performance. Jadson still had a few minutes left and he would. No, had to make it. No, Carlos Edugato. No, I had time left. Why you fucker? Why? Tick tick George. This is not a game. You have been too weak. I don't like that. Come on George. You can do better. So even though I won the game and got my first win in Division 4 I'ma search this no boner ass right now and cut his dick off. George I think you need help. Let me show you how. You can't be serious. Goodbye you virgin. I'ma find you dick. For Elkison and Edugato. Ouch. Fuck. Guys, first of all stick around there is a little bonus at the end. Also I've got three more questions for you. The first one is what did you think of this episode and do you like the direction this is taking? The second one is should we keep Alexander Tuato? And the third one is who do you think is the murderer? There is a little clue in this episode. Please subscribe and can we get to 5 billion likes? Onto the very small bonus. Nothing special but oh well. Okay fucking Super Mario it is. Let's get a some princess sex with my mustache brother in mind super fucking Mario. Okay let's see who is gonna get on first fucking turtles lolo. Oh and some cash. Coolio I'ma buy hookers with that coin. Oh fuck what the hell is this. Guys. I think we found the Hulk. That's pretty neat. Let's ride on the back of that green retard. God I love you Yoshi Hulk. Seriously Nintendo? Seriously? You fucking stupid company I hate you so much I'ma rip you in half and bang all your-